All right, guys, I think that this video is going to be fun. I think it's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. All right, so Mike, Michael Van Buren, quarterback, St. Francis, Baltimore, Maryland, okay? We're gonna wa- I'm going to let you roll on a couple of, uh, of clips, and then I'm going to break down the clips, and then I'm going to talk about all the dominoes that are falling around Michael Van Buren right now because it's getting pretty crazy. So Michael Van Buren is from St. Francis Academy. Um, believe you could see them playing at Maryland. That's a good sign. If you're playing at a college campus, that's a good sign. That means that you are in contention for a state championship. You know, that's what we like to see. If I had to compare Michael Van Buren to somebody on tape, and this is so ironic, I think that he actually has a lot of the skills that Dylan Gabriel has. And Michael Van Buren, that footwork is pure. And I know that that the people, what is the one thing people are going to say about Mike Van Buren? It's, oh, you're 5'11", you're just six feet. He's probably been hearing it his whole life, and it's kind of boring to even say that because this guy is an elite-level, really good quarterback. I mean, looking at this quarterback class right now, it's an interesting quarterback class. I don't even think at the top of the class – like, I guess that you have Raiola at the top of the class, but I'm telling you guys that this quarterback could be right up there, like in the top four, top five. Um, now, there is good quarterbacks, but he reminds me a lot of Hoss Henje, who's going to TCU as well. What do I like so much about Van Buren? I love the footwork. All the feet in the ground, there's no real overstriding. He has a very clean pocket. There's going to be open receivers. I get it. I get it. That's something that you evaluate on the tape. But he has a quick release, and he's going to be playing in an offense that really fits him. A lot of one read and go stuff. You know, the ability to run here, you know, break down a play and run. He's a great fit for this system. And I'll tell you why it's smart that he's not going to Eugene because – at Eugene, they have Austin Novosad that I think they're really high on. Ty Thompson has been getting a lot of reps. Ty's probably going to get a chance. And then they're probably trying to go for Dante Moore or even Cam Ward or some of these you know real elite-level quarterbacks. So I think that at Mississippi State, And again, what I figured is that Dylan Gabriel is most likely not going to Mississippi State. If he does go to Mississippi State, they're paying a lot of money, and then they're going to probably go, um, you know, Van Buren, Gabriel to Van Buren. I don't see that happening at all. So I see Van Buren maybe being a starter from day one, balling out um, and getting his start and really being an elite level college guy you know, with Jeff Lebby. I really see Van Buren being his guy. I mean, this is a guy that right after Jeff Lebby got the job, he targeted um, Michael Van Buren in the process. And this dude's a winner, man. You know, St. Francis quarterback, even though you have a lot of weapons around you, like it's a high-profile position. It's one of the best, you know, schools in the – it's one of the best football powerhouses in a metropolitan city of Baltimore, Maryland, okay? A ton of expectation. I think Biff Pogey was over there, all right? A ton of expectation. This quarterback, I love this quarterback, though. Look at this throw into a really tight window here, all right? So I'll move this for a sec. All right, so look what they're playing here. They are playing, you know, like quarters coverage where nobody gets behind the deepest, right? Or at least like cover three robber, I guess. So you have three deep guys. This throw is incredibly, this is such a tough throw to make. I mean, you have to throw it over this guy's head. Let me pause it. You have to throw it over this guy's head with incredible anticipation and the guy's going to intercept it. So he's throwing the ball right here. That's what I love to see. All right. That's the that's the stuff that's the type of stuff. There we go. Type of stuff that Brock Purdy is doing at the San Francisco 49ers. It's throwing with anticipation. Look at how he moves the defense with his eyes and feet. Okay, we think we're going screen. No. He's checking things off. No, 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 yes. You see that? No, no, 
Yes. Hits the deep window. That is going for your progressions at an elite level. That's going for your progressions at rapid speed. Look at this throw. I mean, this is perfect for a Levy offense. Will Howard's made that type of throw a lot in the air raid. Bam, you hit the slant, yak, yard after catch. Maybe if he goes to the Elite 11, which I think he did, by the way, wheel route perfectly thrown. Just one of the most accurate quarterbacks in the class, athletic, has really good footwork, really is totally a starting caliber quarterback. I love the arm strength here. I love the load up. I love the control on the football. The guy is everything you need to be a starter at this level. He really does. He has talent, okay? The guy is talent. I don't know why he's a three or if he should be a mid-four-star quarterback. It's probably just because he's 5'11", and maybe they say because he's playing in Baltimore or something. But I'll tell you this about Van Buren, okay? I'll tell you this. Michael Van Buren maybe. If he, if he tried to throw it like a Dylan Riola or like, you know, the guy Ethan Grunkmeyer going to Penn State, maybe he throws it a little less yardage in the air. Maybe he throws it like 60 and those guys could throw it 70 or he throws it 55. I believe you're going to hit plenty of explosive plays with this quarterback. Look at this play. He might take this to the crib. There's a reason Jeff Levy and these guys scouted Van Buren from the get-go. And they had Jackson Arnold, and he was committed to to, um, to Oregon. So that's why Oklahoma didn't reach out in the recruiting process. But he's visiting them. And it's a great fit for him. And he's not, and, and I know Penn State was involved. He's not going to have to wait behind Drew Aller. And this is this is great anticipation into a tight window. You have to show trust and timing. Van Buren has that. He has it. The it qualities, the it factors. He realizes that by not going to Oregon, that's a great move. He realizes that by not going to Oregon, he's going to get to play sooner. It also tells you that Oregon's in the market for a big-time quarterback. It also tells you that they're either in the market for a big-time quarterback or they love the quarterbacks on their roster. So that's what's transpiring. We got John Cooper. We got all these guys, all right? There was kind of a great play by the wide receiver under pressure. Van Buren, man, he's solid. Maybe he's like Pierce Clarkson at Louisville a little bit. Very technically defined uh, player. I just, I just like the player, and I think Mississippi State, I like the route that they're going because instead of maybe paying for one of these big transfer quarterbacks, you're growing from within, you're giving Van Buren time to grow with this team, and in like two years when your D-line recruits come alive – and Van Buren could hopefully be a stud in like as a sophomore or as a junior, then you take the money you have and you go all in. And then in year three, like Lebby's going to be really competing in the SEC. And like real, I'm talking nine or 10 wins in the SEC. I'm talking get it, get it, get an extension, get a raise type of competing. 